So the plan today is very simple. We've got this meta cooler card right here. It says permanent. You can include as many copies of this card in your deck as you would like. And as we know, a deck can be between 50 and 60s. Currently at 50. We're gonna have to craft a few. So now we got 60 meta coolers. And the challenge we need to see today is how many meta coolers can we play before we're off the deep end. And naturally, it's our one deck full with 60 meta coolers, and that's gonna allow us to kind of get a vibe, see what's happening, see what's viable, you never know. With Frieza, anything's possible. And then we'll start uh, optimizing from there and seeing what improvements we can make to the deck until we land on a competitively viable meta cooler list. So the thing with meta coolers that really, that is cool, he's a 10K combo, he's a 20K attacker, and he says when KO'd play up to one meta cooler would cost a three from your hand. It's really cool because green can actually struggle a little bit against meta cooler when you consider the fact that all their abilities are KO abilities and they're very targeted for the most part. Even the SCR board wipe can potentially not do all that much if you have two to three meta coolers in hand to be able to replenish your board in terms of building the deck i you could consider cooler the problem is you need to draw in this deck to see more meta coolers to replace the ones that you lose so because of that and because of the fact that we don't want our opponent to attack into them whenever we want them as combo power because they're 10k combo i think the de facto leader for this strategy is frieza and then from there there's very very simple boys <laughs> All right, easy. <laughs> it actually lets me go above. <laughs> All right, boom. There's the deck. So we're going to kick it off, stick it with the 60, and then we'll see from there what improvements we can make. Now against a Goku Black player, bro. He doesn't even know what's coming. Woo! You know what, boys? I think we can do better. I think we can do better. Woo! Now this is it, boys. All right, this is the hand we want. We're in this. Woo! Doesn't have the pieces? That's crazy. Oh, never mind. <laughs> they do know what we're up to now, but it's fine. <laughs> Bro, you're going to waste combo power? That's crazy. I'll take that easy. Bro, you don't realize you're going to need all that combo power when you deal with our meta cooler onslaught turn three onwards. Oh, and if we were going second and we got the energy marker too, man. All right, bet. This is your last warning. After this one's no more games. All right, I'll close it up. What do you do, right? Like next turn, it's meta cooler. Then it's meta cooler. Then it's it's the meta cooler army, and that you know, you know my deck is stacked with 10k combos. What are you gonna do against that? Oh, easy take. You're gonna hit me once per turn, dude. I'm gonna hit you twice per turn, then three times per turn, then four times per turn. You won't even see it coming. That's right. So now the question is, do we attack? Do I put Goku Black on a cl Oh yeah, I 100% attack. <laughs> Cause like if he attacks a meta cooler, I'll just replace it. <laughs> Always swing, what do you mean? <laughs> now if he starts bottom decking or bouncing back to our hand, we'll be a little sad, but. Well, he has his monster, which means he probably has another one in hand. We're not going to have to deal with the Goku Black till next turn. Yeah, we'll just take. We just take because we really want our leader ability, but... Yeah, so this was what I was afraid of, but like... There's not much you could do against that. That's fine. If he attacks, cool. If he doesn't attack, also cool. That is fine. Do we even need to bother charging? <laughs> right, because to play two meta coolers back to back... I need to be at six? Am I ever gonna get there? Whatever. Uh, you probably. Uh, do we ever charge? <laughs> right? No, because that would be three more turns. And I would be losing 10k combo power every time we do that. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. We need all the gas. Oh, you got me. You awakened. Ooh. <laughs> Maybe we should have comboed the 10, but like, yeah, it's whatever. It's all meta coolers from here, baby. Dude, then next turn we play another one, and then the turn after that we play another one. I do, yeah. There's definitely a few things they could have done to make the meta cooler better, but it's fine. Yep, here's the bottom deck. Here comes a Goku Black. We already knew he drew into it. Uh, 
Well, that's the thing. It's like Goku Black doesn't net a bunch of resources. So, like, he's just going to try to be, like, racing into us. And eventually, we're just going to be able to defend most, like... I mean, we're going to start dwindling hand size. That's just kind of a thing that happens here. But... So, an argument to me that we defend this one because it's easier to defend than the 40k. And then if he just wants to attack Metacooler, we can just play another one, so. Unless he plays another Trunks, if he plays another Trunks, then he just, like, actually, I don't know. Obviously against Blue, obviously, uh, if they Sickle, we feel really bad, too. So that's something that we need to be aware of, I guess, for next turn. Yeah, so, like, we just take, we just defend this one, and he did actually have the other Trunks, that's cool. Alright. Uh, this we'll just take. We'll awaken. We are getting a free plus one, that is true. So we do we do net that additional card. But like he's not really forced to charge beyond four now at this point either, right? Because like we can't really contest his board. I might try it with Frieza, but like it's not the type of thing where I'm gonna try playing the long game too much. So we'll see, but I feel a little bit suspect about it all. Like do I ever bother board controlling him or do I just go in? Maybe we just go in. Yeah, blue is probably, <laughs> it's weird to talk about our worst matchup, but like red can be annoying because you can clear the meta coolers, but blue is probably the most annoying because they can play the long attrition advantage game for a really long time, so. What do you do against Broly? Uh, we, we don't. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> what, do we, what do I do against Broly? <laughs> we don't play him, that's that. We don't play against him, that's, that's, that's what we do. Is he playing the Mai because he's going to be able to bounce this guy back to my hand? Oh, he just saw all three. <laughs> cool. Very, very neat. <laughs> Dog, how come the Goku Black players end up playing against other most goaded players in existence? They see everything, man. They believe in the harder cards, I guess. Cause like drawing all three of your bounce trunks is like eh, whatever, it is what it is. I mean seeing all three means that hopefully he doesn't have the fourth in his hand, right? One would assume. Well, you've got the guy that can attack twice though. set up uh i mean we're currently traveling which is why the stream's looking the way it does we'll be back to uh to the same old same olds and uh, next week <laughs> do i want to restand him probably probably need the combo power if things go haywire I, I don't think that did what you think it does. <laughs> it's, that was effectively a meaningless combo. <laughs> you were better off just having the extra attacker. I mean, I guess if you wanted to replay him. Or, yeah, whatever. Doesn't really matter.
Uh, nope. Like, it just, it's there, it exists, and it's something that people will always be able to mess around with. I mean, it's essentially a gag card for the most part, so. All right, so, literally worst that could happen. But I think if we don't get a Goku Black player who literally sees three of his trunks, <laughs> which is the only way he can deal with, the, with those without using something like Scythe and, like, ruining the temple of his turn or whatever, we go again. All right, what, Frieza on Frieza matchup? Okay. Uh, I mean, nah, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. This is it. This is the one. All right, all right, all right. And we've got the energy marker, bro. It's over, dude. What a weak play. Turn one cantrip. I'm going to turn one swing and draw another meta cooler. And then next turn, I get to play a meta cooler. What are you going to do? KO it? <laughs> and then, like, I could not attack. But then what, 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 what would the fun be in that? Of course we're going to attack. Nah, that's what I thought. Alright. Bet. Little do you know. <laughs> what now? You know, that's exactly what I expected him to do. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that was very much in the realm of what I was expecting to happen. Little does he know. Another one. This just won't stop. <laughs> I do think we probably stop attacking with our Metacooler so that we can attack with our leader. But, yeah, because he's going to outdraw us for sure with this, uh, with the Ginyu now. So the best play for us is probably hold them back and just take a few leader swings so that we can restand them. Uh, then I think we just play another one and we chill. And then, I don't know, hopefully he hasn't seen too many of these one drops. Obviously I don't love that, like, <laughs> we're just going to be staring at this thing. Like, we're th he's, this thing's going to be drawing him a card, every, an additional card every single turn. Which is pretty good when you're considering that we're trying to win by just having, like, a non-stop barrage of stuff, but we'll see. Pressure ball, sure. Is there a limit? Not a uh, cooler has the ability that says you can include as many as you want in your deck. Another one. That's fine, dude. Another one. He is infinite for a reason. Maybe he's like, maybe our opponent draws so much that like they just mill themselves up. Who knows? <laughs> Although I will say, drawing into more crusher balls and to more one drop freezes is probably just going to make things really tough for us. But. Having some kind of support, it, it would be cool if the card had like at least something. The fact that it's literally just meta coolers is just like, all right. <laughs> at least it has some Frieza clan support, though not a ton of it. Another one. It is crazy that this guy can hit three drops or less. Because like the blues can only hit what, two or less? Need something to incentivize charging and things that play on top of three drops, or just just some kind of synergy. Yeah, like the fact that he's got two of these. Like I'm not I'm not gonna bother playing this. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> All right. So our freeze our opponents saw everything. There's nothing we can do about that. We just play two opponents that clearly saw everything. Surely, third time's the charm. Yeah, yeah, the double stuff would come out of hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We weren't, we weren't getting there for sure. All right, so think there might be a little bit of a 
fine tuning we can do. Clearly, we're letting ourselves a little bit vulnerable to uh, to the fact that our deck does nothing but play bodies, and obviously we're not interacting with our opponents in any real meaningful way, uh, and we're not making plays that allow us to get advantage, or they, uh, there's an argument there that if I attacked into the trunks instead, um, and maybe that gotten rid of it, we could have maybe defended out of certain attacks, but I'm suspect about that even being a thing, and naturally, you know, we play against our opponents who do like sickle and stuff like that, and it's just really hard for us to come back from. And the fact that the strategy is only really good against green, which we haven't even faced, and it's only really fine against green if it's not Broly specifically. So, I think we can start cutting this down. We're gonna stay at like 20-ish and then kind of see where we can go from there. Um, but now let's see what work we can do towards making a semi-viable deck. I'm gonna start with our staples and kind of work our way from there. Right, because at this point it's just a balance between like how much of like a meta cooler deck are you versus just like a jank Frieza deck. So <laughs> if we go to 14 meta coolers. We now kind of have the core of a Frieza package deck, but we substitute a lot of really good cards for meta coolers. <laughs> and all things considered, I mean, I think we can definitely get there with that. We got a lot of 10k combo power. Like that is just our deck is 10k combo power the deck just about as optimal as we can get while being like still paying respects to having a bunch of meta coolers yeah i mean self awakeners got coolers got one drops can't complain red obviously one of the i mean every matchup's a bad matchup <laughs> they all have ways to deal with their meta coolers in ways that we don't like at the very least, Neg 20 is not like the easiest thing on a singular card. He needs to kind of combine multiple cards to make it happen, so. Uh, Alright, don't need multiple of these. At least I don't think so. Let's go swing in. This is what, the Self Awakener? No, it's just the draw one. Okay. And we found the Ginyu. Well, perfect. <laughs> Assuming our opponent can't can get rid of him. At the very least, the, what, the red 3-drop Goku is what, KO at 20k or less? As opposed to Neg it by 20? So there's that. The benefit is that some of red stuff does say KO as opposed to just like a hard neg. Like this KO is 10Ks or less. Not that it matters, but why would you why would you do this? <laughs> Cause now I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> I guess I won't give you additional cards if I don't have to. Um here I'll go here, because if he protects it, I don't mind, especially if like he wants to go for it, I don't particularly mind. I kind of just want to drain him of cards while he's unawakened while he's at it. Like, this is fine. I'm okay with this. And if he wants to dedicate resources getting rid of this, that's fine because we have other self weakness and stuff. Alright, dude. If you want to give it to us, we'll, we'll take it. We will take it. Whoa. You know, it's a shame that these cards kind of aren't playing out the way that I wanted them to. I thought they were really cool. But it just turns out that there's still so many ways to be able to like get rid of them or handle them or do different things that like it just kind of doesn't matter. I think it's this. So that I can play this. We will take the life, we will play- No, wait, hold up, my play was gonna be Ginyu into Ginyu. Ah, <laughs> no! Do I- I kind of have to commit to it now, that sucks. That's super annoying. <laughs> I forgot that you can't play the one drop after you do all this. Very unfortunate. Now let's see if we awaken and draw into anything that we can play. Oh, we can draw. We can play banana. That's actually not terrible. Uh, sure. Let's match and have you get rid of a card. Sure, 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 sure. Now let's see how hard you want to protect us then. Dang. Guy really loves his board. Um, all right. Well, I guess we're just doing all the things. We're just going all in. Bet. The infinity starts. All right. Well, we've uh, we put our opponent to one card in hand. I think we can just kind of coast. And uh, we'll leave our meta cooler out because he wants to spend efforts getting rid of that. That's fine by us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, baby, that's what I'm saying. All right, boys, Gohan is where we pop off. Uh, yeah, this, this we can keep this. This is a hand. All right, against Gohan, like we're just jamming this board. We're just going. I mean, we're gonna awake, try to wait to awaken, but like we're just jamming this board. We're drawing cards and we're jamming this board, and we're going second. <laughs> 
So we're going to try to draw cards to see if we can dig ourselves into a meta cooler. And then we'll see if we play Freeze the next turn. Um, we'll probably want to start playing medical once we've awakened, so we don't want to make any plays that don't allow Gohan to attack into us. Drawing Zarbon's really strong, so we'll play Zarbon. Obviously, if we can find the Raccoon, going 20k wide is really strong against Gohan, so... Um, so here we'll probably just play the Zarbon. We'll swing. Play Zarbon. And now that we have two of these guys, we could potentially force an Awaken next turn if we have to. Which is nice, and then we can just kind of meta cooler from there. So, never mind. We drew the raccoon. This is gonna swing. We're gonna go to five, and then we raccoon into Ginyu into Frieza. And then next turn we can meta cooler. No, we can meta cooler. Heck yeah, dude. We can raccoon into Ginyu into meta cooler. Perfect. <laughs> Little does he know. Yep, that's fine. We'll just take it. Got a lot of 5Ks. Not much we can do about that, but, you know, we'll work our way through it. So we'll go Raccoon. Take the life. Play a Ginyu. And we got the Double Striker for a late game. That's pretty saucy. We'll restand 2, and then we can Medical after that, and then the Medical is just going to stay on board forever, which is pretty good. Don't even have to restand the medical because if he just wants to attack into him, we'll just play different ones, you know? Um, Alright, so now we're just going in 20k's, going to do its thing. Nah, that's fine by me, dude. Oh, these medical is gonna put in work. And the next turn we play another one. And the cantrip, why not? And then turn after that we play another one. Alright, so we resend the Zarbon and the this guy. We don't want to restand him because if he attacks into him, that's fine. And there's a world in which we just let our Raccoon die, but we'll see. We'll see how much he puts into it. Whoa, I am not a believer in this card, man. <laughs> like, next time we're just going to do this, it's going to make it feel really bad. Uh, I, it feels bad because I know my first Gohan deck profile had this in it, but like, I've just like, I was suspect about that being a thing at all. And I feel even more suspect about it now. Like, it's just not, it's just not it, dude. <sighs> He charged his cell, so I guess he just didn't draw into another one or something. Ah, uh, that's annoying, but yeah, so we'll just let that through. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not off trying to. Whoa. We'll do it. Why not? All right. Uh, the charge, uh, Raccoon into Ginyu. Like, if he board wipes us, which like doesn't really matter because we got this guy. I think we just do this. Because I think the Raccoon into Ginyu is just like really strong. Uh, so we'll do this, which I want to play more Metacoolers, but we'll just do this because it gets the blocker out of the way. The fact that he hits three drops is absurd. <laughs> it's actually crazy. All right, now we're just uh, 20k turbo. And then the next turn, he's only doing a six drop. We've got double super combo, so we're fine. Super combo? Hey, yo. Man, I was really hoping to draw another two drop. It's like we can play the Ginyu, but like that feels so bad into this board. Not that it matters. Our opponent won't be able to deal with what we're kind of doing anyways, which is like playing Ginyu to just get another 20k body is probably still worth it. But the fact that we can't do anything with the two energy after that is kind of sad. But we kind of just had to new going back because I didn't want to put the seven. One more turn of him not being able to use the, um, the Secret Rare is a pretty big deal. So... And next turn we can Raccoon into Ginyu into another medical or something like that. Like that's still an option we have available to us. Alright, well we've done a good job of draining that hand of his. Alright, well, got him to one. Or if not one, at least force another card out of his hand. 
He doesn't know we won't have another play, right? So maybe if we force another card of his hand, that's fine. Because we got Golden Freeze in next turn too. So, eh, you know. Cool. The fact that these are all 10k combos, pretty good too. Um, okay, so we'll go ahead and bring back... I guess it doesn't really matter, right? Like, we absolutely want him, and we might as well get our Zarbon also, and then the Ginyu stuff can kind of chill. And the reason we want him mostly there is just to get rid of the blocker, but at the end of the day, should still be able to get there regardless of this blocks or not. It's fine, we expected as much. I don't know what he's going to get rid of. Sure. That deals with the blocker, obviously, but not the end of the world. That is fine. He's not going to blow up his energy. Want to go as wide as possible. Of course, our opponent have to play wonky, so... And our opponent's not going to go for us. This is where the super combos really come in handy. Or potentially, I don't know. I think we just kind of let the 40k through if he attacks into one of our cards, but... That is... Fine. And obviously, he's not going to combo. Being 10k, pretty good. Do I care? I kind of care. Makes it harder. Like, save our super combos for when we're really going to need them, I think is the biggest thing. It, it could potentially give us another turn, although having the additional attacker is really important. Eh. Alright. That's meta cooler. And now we just kind of go in, hope for the best. See if at any point our opponent takes. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. They did take the block. Alright, well. You guys think we can out-combo him? It doesn't matter, right? We just go in now at this point, right? Like, we keep this in rest mode. What's he gonna do? Secret rare us? Like, who cares? We're going in! <laughs> All these 10Ks in hand. You think I'm not gonna do this? You think I'm not gonna do it? Oh my god. Alright. Keep that there. Uh, Then it's like this, this. This, 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 this. Then the question is, do I do the Metacooler? Nah, I'll just do it all in. We got it all, baby. Who knows? He does have the one for the Gigantic Meteor, though. I, did, I didn't... I forgot the Trunks actually gives him the one, so we'll see. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Yeah, so the, the big thing there, obviously, we're solid against green. At any point, he could remove stuff from our board. We would still have Twin K attack, but that was just like, like the go wide, right? Go wide with Frieza is incredibly strong. You add that on top of the fact that you have a body your opponent can never get rid of, and it kind of does curb things towards your side a little bit more. Like, we ended up playing against a uh, meta, meta Frieza. Were they able to get more meta coolers on board? It would have been really spooky. Um, bup, 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 bup. All right, so we're going to have to outvalue Broly here. Because obviously speed will only get us so far once they become a 25k. That could be pretty annoying. I mean, yes and no. This turn I'm not going to be playing anything that attacks. And then the turn after I'm going to be playing cooler. So I actually feel like this is perfectly... Oh, ho, ho, back to back coolers. Yeah, so this is one of those matchups where unfortunately the meta cooler game plan isn't as strong. It's not terrible. We have a bunch of 10k combos, which can be valuable to us for sure. Um, but the fact that like our opponent will eventually be a 25k just kind of makes it rough for us. Ooh, I do like that they charge one of those. Do I play the cooler right now, or do I just... Hmm, I don't know. What do I do? Kinda is just like cooler into cooler into freezer or something of the sort, right? It's gonna stall our Awaken for a turn, but I don't know that that matters too much. I think getting swings in with a 30k is much more important, and getting rid of this Trunks is a pretty big deal, so... And then uh, we're not going to give him the additional energy, so you can do that on your own turn, buddy. Now, the fact that we were a 15k swing on our opponent's 25 anyways means that it never really mattered to us too much, the fact. It's just the restand for the 40k freezes was going to matter the most, so...
So I guess we can 40k Frieza into this guy, probably? I don't know. You can go into Broly starting next turn, which is kind of kind of an oof. And having restand blockers is pretty big deal, just so Broly can't attack into them. I mean, it's probably just start off with this and then kind of make our way from there. Um, this combo big. <sighs> kind of do want to self awaken. I'm not gonna lie. Just getting the restand on the cooler makes a pretty big deal. We've got a lot of 10k combos to get rid of. Our opponent's going to start Broly next turn, so there's not much that we can do around getting around that at any point in time. Another 20k attacker. I probably want to play another 20k attacker. And then we restand Cooler, and then he just gets popped by Broly or whatever, but... Maybe swing into the Selku? Um, do I care? I don't think if I care about the Selku. Because, like... What's Selku gonna do? It's gonna allow our opponent to draw one card. Like, I think we just apply pressure. Okay, well. What? Two super combos now. He goes into Broly next turn. He doesn't have Gigantic Meteor for the turn afterwards. If we draw into Golden, all the better for us. We'll see, fingers crossed. I mean, I'd like him to not have Broly, but odds are he has Broly. But at the very least, we'll have something still up as an attacker. It probably won't be this cooler, but. Yeah, yeah, so here's the Broly. It's fine. We expected it. And I guess the question is, does he go board control or does he, uh, does he attack our face? Us. Sure. I can play that if you want to. Okay, and that's what he wants to use on his board. Uh, that's fine. That is also fine. We find Double Striker, obviously we'd rather have that, so it keeps the cooler in rest mode, but... Or the, the Broly in rest mode. Banan, yeah. But the 10k combo could matter, but maybe not as much, who knows? Let's see. Let's see where we can get. See if we can draw. Draw a cooler. Combo the medical I guess. Alright, so there I want to see if I get golden. The fact that I don't get golden means I'm probably that was the perfect card, true. Um probably means just draw a card. We'll get off the draw. Interesting. I mean, not really interesting. Kind of doesn't do anything. Like, at this moment, we're just kind of like, apply pressure, not die moments, is kind of where we're at at the moment. So if he doesn't have a second Broly, we're okay. If he does have a second Broly... Well, I mean, he, he drew two Broly's, right? There's not much we could do about that. He doesn't draw another Broly, we live to see another day. Which is really neat. So. <sighs> so let's see what happens. There's a life Gohan. Yeah, so there's the other Broly. So shocker. I don't know that I live two Broly's. That's like I still yeah, I have my Zarbon, but he he has one. He has gigantic meteor you can use. We'll see. Sure. Sure. Block that. And then we just absolutely need to defend against this next one. Depends how much he puts into it, I guess. 50 is exactly what we have. Uh, love that. All right.
Literally, if we just had a 10k combo. <laughs> like, we literally just needed a 10k combo. That was so stupid. I mean, whatever. We would have seen another turn and then what? Oi. I don't know if there's much that you can change. Like, the only ways to make the deck better are just cutting, cutting even more and more out of the deck itself. So, can't really improve on this without just literally getting rid of the meta coolers and altogether there's uh there's not much i think else we can do without kind of ignoring the motif of playing meta coolers but 